and um and um before that, um i had mentioned dr cartel that uh we, we, we want to hear from him now where where you want this issue to go what solution you want as a tax-paying citizen of the country and what are you willing to do in order to facilitate that um solution that you you would like to obtain well right now me me want the people them of jamaica to know that listen me i'm me, me, me i put this to the people then there's never in the issue of jamaica as an artist come open so much businesses where employ jamaican and I pay too much taxes. That means say, me put a lot in the system as a DJ. And the DJ never did this yet. I have enough richer DJ than me will come out here and go f and, and win more awards and accolades than Vice Cartel. None of them no put back in the system like how Vice Cartel put back in the system. So why the system can't give Vice Cartel a chance to live and breathe and make money for my people them? Some man I go like at them alone and pick me you know? See, and that is my point to me a child too. Me is not a criminal, me is not a gunman. And with that being told, me now for see it which I come from and me now deny no get to youth. See, me need if if, if if they have no problem with Vice Cartel, take it up with Vice Cartel personally. Don't follow follow me up all over the place and a read read everywhere Vice Cartel day. Like when you say me I walk it's fifty thousand gunman. That is not what Vice Cartel is about. Vice Cartel is about music, making music and uplifting myself, uplifting my family and uplifting the, the, the fans of the music with good quality music because he's an entertainer and we get paid to entertain. See, that is my point what I'm trying to say as a man who spend millions of dollars, put millions of dollars in the system. We need them to just give me a break. Uh, all right, then, and in order to obtain that break, I think, like, what would be the game plan forward then? Uh, yeah, like, you made a verbal appeal, we just say that, but in terms of action, what, what's the next step? What, what you and your team, um, you know, intend to do right now? Well, me, we don't really intend to do nothing, you know, that's why we take it to you, which we know you are the most famous man for radio right now. No disrespect to no other talk show host, but we know you are the most famous man for radio right now. So when we talk on a Shanti show, we know the nation I listen. See? You see what I say? Yeah. So what we make our appeal to, to, to the powers that be, so that, listen, me, Vice Cartel is not a criminal, Vice Cartel is a tax paying citizen of Jamaica, we a businessman who employ people just like an next businessman So we, we, we have our input in the, in the well-being of the country and the development of the country. Yes, so, I say, so we just need them to stop dealing with Vice Cartel like he's a criminal. And follow, follow me up and me show them and read, read, me show them and disrespect the people that come to spend their money to watch Vice Cartel because these things deterring the fans away, deterring the people them away from coming to a Vice Cartel show and that is boxing food out of my mouth. Okay, okay, okay. Um, if if you don't if you don't get that um solution from the parties involved, um, are there any other channels that you're exploring right now? We don't have no more channel. I prefer me just run with them. <laughs> just go up on a boat, just go Bahamas, and go up on a boat and try to go across like Flipper Mafia. What me do? What may I say? What may I say? Is there, is there, is there in the, the possibility of obtaining counsel and some, some legal representation and say, listen now, you, you need to justify this and um, perhaps provide the intelligence that you're saying you're using as justification, which you probably can't do because they're going to say it's secret. But perhaps we have some kind of official intervention that might be necessary. Corey, you want to jump in? Yeah, Raga, we got two lawyers on the case right now, but the reason why we came to your station today is because once you try to sue the government, and, and if we bring a lawsuit up against the Jamaican Constabulary Force or whatever, yeah. then that creates a whole other problem. Yeah, you're we, we, going to be we, exacerbating right. the problem. Right? We, we don't want to do that because, personally, I don't feel like... Bush and kill me. <laughs> what, what that Carter? I don't want nobody hiding on a bush and kill me and put gun for me, Virgin. Oh. So, I don't come to sue nobody. I just come to make a, a plea to the nation and to the powers that be. Say, listen to me. Please, to leave Vice Cartel alone because he's not a criminal. And he's and me not, no bag of, me not no bag of man to follow me, especially gunman. If you see me at any given time, I drive on the road at one person in my vehicle. If it's just two persons, it's a woman in the front and somebody on the back. See, I don't come to sue nobody. Because that's how, as the chorus said, that's how we bring one next problem. Pam, 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 vice cartel. I'm yeah, in a different yeah, yeah, so yeah, have yeah. the time for that. I have too much things for my head right now. Yeah, yeah. 
But we do well, have lawyers you know. looking into it, just in but, case. But, but talking right. about that, though, I, I, I saw an interesting thing. I understand your passport, your, your U.S. passport was seized, Corey. Is that correct? Yeah, and I'm kind of... You get it back? No, I haven't got it back yet. I'm kind of amazed Hold on. It. When was your passport seized? It was seized Sunday, um, well, Monday morning, after at the, after the concert. Well, that never took place. <laughs> All right, then, then, um... They, they took my passport. They told me I had two choices. Either I stay in jail till Wednesday... Or I give them my passport and my attorney. Were you charged for anything? I, w I don't. I still don't know what I was charged for. No, no, no. Were you charged? No, for no. You weren't charged. I for wasn't anything. charged for anything. No. I, they said I, I have to report for questioning on Thursday, and so they're holding my passport t until I report for questioning. No, well, sometimes your, your, your passport can be held, but it, it's usually the courts that the court that directed. Well, right. No they, court. They, no nothing. But I mean, you, you I sure talked to the U.S. Well, Embassy. You sure they didn't get access to a judge who authorized the, the seizure of your passport because there might be a flight risk? <laughs> Not at all. I mean, it was it was. Um, did they communicate six to you? The did they communicate to you what you were you you're suspected of doing or anything of that sort? They said I was a target of an ongoing investigation. <laughs> okay. Um, um, I mean, it was me, very wait, wait, vague. What, what did the U.S. government say about your passport? Well, my wife actually contacted the embassy. My wife is a lovely Jamaican. Right. All right, me love Jamaica. Okay. All right. <laughs> and um, they were very disappointed, and they asked if I had another ID on me that they could have held on to. I said yes, and um, they told me to take my alien registration card up there, which she's doing, and they're supposed to issue my passport back. If they don't, then the U.S. government plans to go get it themselves. So she's in the process of doing that, and we made some calls. But the the super the person who took my passport, we can't seem to catch up with them. So I mean, it's kind of like a runaround thing. So I mean, it's a mess. It's ridiculous. No, no, that that might. Be I mean, that, rag up. No, let me no, let me no, tell no, you no, something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Within the diplomatic circles, mm -hmm. as you know, you're never the owner of your passport. You know? No, the U.S. government is the, the owner. Government the no, owner. not the government of Jamaica. The U.S. No, government. No, I'm just saying, my Jamaican passport. It's actually the property of the Jamaican right, government. Right, right. Your U.S. passport. It's a property of the. Uh, so I, Jamaica I, has no, no, no right no. to take it. And, it, and within without the without contracting no, the embassy. On. Within the diplomatic circles, the, that matter is a, is a fairly serious matter because it has all kind of possible ramifications with respect to diplomatic immunity and blah blah blah. Uh, I know you treat a sovereign state and all of that. Um, that might be a matter that um it's a know, very serious matter, it's, matter, it's a serious matter. but they never expect i mean i don't know what they expect i guess they never expect them to have two lawyers at two o'clock in the morning but i mean Raga, I, I was dealt with like a criminal they held me at new new kingston station for over three hours then all of a sudden i'm escorted to mobile reserve by over 20 police cars i get the mobile reserve i asked a few questions wasting more of my time then i'm taking a half a tree nobody comes to see me so you got new kings on police station the mm -hmm. police boss then they carry going on a mobile reserve yeah man 20 car in square i felt like no, i was no, no quarry some people are listening that and i said no man the police they must have something else they man some nah, people nah, no man no man no, me just, i keep it real keep some it people real i said some people are listening i said no sir why the police would have commit so much resources and appear so much attention to him? Sitting there, it's most of them, man. You know? Raga. Nothing else there. I mean, you, you can't search a club three times and not find a pair of scissors, not find a knife, not find a gun, and you steady come back. You, you search the club on Sunday. You not find anything. You come back less than 24 hours and search it again. What's that, Raga? You, you, you box down customers. You tell them not to come back. What's that, Raga? What me do? All right. All right. We're not doing nothing. All right. That's how that's how business go. That's how Jamaica police deal with people. And let me I want to say this though. I don't think the heads of the department know what's going on. I think this is a rogue operation. You're saying you don't think no, the man. senior no, sir. commanding officers at the Jamaica Constabulary I don't believe are it. aware of what's occurring. Absolutely no, not. No, 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 that's um with all due respect, I don't want to get myself in trouble, but um I don't oh, I no, don't rather. Commissioner Ellington is ever a very hands on person though, you know, and um I mean you gotta realize it's the holiday. You gotta realize that I mean Jamaica's a place where it's all about connections. I mean it's the holiday. Um and, and then I mean if you look in the newspaper, all respect do. And I mean um Superintendent Knight was not present, but they said eight thousand people was in the club. That's a false report. The club can't hold 8,000 people. No, next no, thing, no, next thing, Rago. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look I, at the no, paper, Rago. Hold on, I can attest. Asylum can hold about somewhere around 2,000 max. And, and, and that's and everybody we, rubbing shoulders. I, I know that. Okay. I know that. So 8,000 people from, from, from is ridiculous. From working with Ribby, Ribby Chunk. Right. But um, perhaps um, the papers misquoted and, and, the police and, officers. And, and Ribby and Brian, Ribby and Chris Cargill are still a part of the operation. I want that to be known. 
a lot of people, uh, I mean, uh, they're still a part of it. So, I mean, Mr. Cargill, he's taking his actions too. But, I mean, the thing is this. You got to look at this. He said that in the paper that they got a report of gunmen, um, drugs, guns in the club, right? So if you got a report on that Thursday, you come there Thursday, the Thursday before, and you didn't find it. So you get another report the following Sunday. You come there, and you not find it. All right, that's two times in a row, right? The third time you come, you still not find it. Well, Rock, I'm going to tell you something. So why didn't I get a report before Thursday? That means I said. But, but also this teacher, this is what they need to know. One of the patrons in the place saw a police officer drop a shot in the place and say, hey, pick that up. He said, oh, oh, oh. So what really are going so my, my our our employees love us. Um, so don't um, watch them all step of the way. So okay, let them really play. Right, just so you know, I am I, I am required. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm required sorry. to I'm issue sorry. allegedly. No, no, yeah, allegedly. Allegedly, I'm, I'm required sorry. to issue a disclaimer here so that um, the police force do not feel that um, the program was used to um, to facilitate the dissemination of what they would consider to be false information that I cannot prove. So just so you know. I just apologize. Just so, no, no, that's okay. That's okay. Um, it it sounds to me that um, given, you know, what your enterprise is like, you know, how far-reaching it is, uh, you're paying your taxes, you're employing people, that you're, you're running a legitimate enterprise because you're going by the book. It seems to me that some kind of sit down need to take place like cartel say you need to speak to the police officers and someone and it sounds to me like the police you know want you know you know you to conduct yourself in some ways and perhaps you don't know what that is and they need to communicate that to you some dialogue need to take place right here now you know that in that can foster a, a harmonious relationship uh, you know, as you go but, forward. So the police can't say, yeah, you can't behave on yourself, and you can't say, all right, listen, now, we don't want to, we're not going to do this and that, I mean, the police, I'm upset or whatever, can we go over, you know, but, some kind of dialogue. But, 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 but Raga, uh, we're not a problem meeting with, 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 with police. But teacher, they need to understand this too, though. But, well, yeah, we ask the query. They need to understand this. Raga has a good point, we need to sit down with people. But we only have problems at certain times. And it's only certain people exercising uh, authority that they shouldn't be in, misusing authority. I don't think the com the commissioner of police and uh, Lance Green really have a problem with Vibes Cartel. It's the people that say, yo, we ought to stop them. They might do too much. They're too powerful. You understand? So, I mean, you can't say we really need to sit down with the system if, if we only have a problem when certain people don't like certain things we do. So, I mean, every oh, time oh. they don't like certain things we do, we got to have another sit down with the system. Raga, three million dollars in taxes. That ain't no small money. We're Three small million dollars in taxes. Oh, what that you pay? One month. One, for one month. month. For one, one month. month. Okay. Let me tell you what that is. It's a combination of SCT and GCT, right? Right. We manufacture our own liquor. Raga, a long time we'll get to fight. You know, you know, Street Vibe was on the market in December. Street Vibe's rum, the rum that me and Cartel on, right? Yeah. We had a we had a manufacturer manufacture for us. We decided that hey. The price they're giving us is too high. We're going to do our own thing. We get the license from the government. We pay this big um, bond that, that we had to issue to the government. Get our license. Guess what? That person called them friend and said, you know what? Don't sell them no wrong. You know what I had to do? We had to call people, the, the, the other owners of the company, but people that own the company in Barbados, people that own the company the other way to finally get through. Hold that on, that, on, that on, company is dealing with on, us great. On, we don't want to get out of the no, subject. No, 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 hold on. No, no, for no, no, four no, months. Hold on. Mm -hmm. you're, so you're saying that you had somebody essentially doing the bottling for you, right? Right. We but left that, them. But, but that, the, the, the money they were charging, you felt, was exorbitant. Well, they were making all the money at first. We just started making money. money, right. And then you're saying, well, like any business, man, you're mm -hmm. going to try to forget the, in terms of cost benefit. Right. You're going to try to forget the best deal in order to increase profit. We start bottling ourselves. And then and you started doing it yourself. Right. And you're saying the person you used to work with, call, are you saying that? Well, perhaps? I don't really want to get into that no, because, okay, I mean, yeah, yeah. me and that company now has a great relationship because I spent uh, a lot right, of money with them. Okay, okay, so, but right. I'm just to let you know that it's not been an easy role for us. Okay, you understand? Okay, okay. From December of last year to March of this year, we wasn't able to sell a bottle of street vibes around. But guess what? We, we still spend money. We never lost Cartel still sung about street vibes. We still made it a product to be reckoned with. You understand, Ragga? Right, right. Ragga, what we're doing ain't normal. It's bigger than hip hop. You understand what I'm saying? In hip hop, they work for people. Cartel ha has his own company now. A lot of people are not gonna like that. 